Happy Sunday! Uh, my name is Jessica and I am on the road to losing 30 pounds. Um, I actually have already have lost um, 90 pounds and today I want to talk about the five things I wish I knew before losing weight in order to help me actually progress in weight loss um this is not diff this is a very difficult road um so i i'm just gonna get into it number five <laughs> weight loss is a series of starts and stops um i think that um at the beginning of my journey i had to have a lot of compassion to myself because it you know there's you get on on the road to weight loss you have a, a, a mindset um or you have a a, a program that you want to follow or uh, certain things that you want to do you want to be in a calorie deficit but you know to to form you know two months three months into it you're 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 falling off and things like that that will occur just as long as you go back into it or find what you would like to do um in terms of how you want to approach weight loss but it will be a stop and start a stop and start there is such a thing as every monday but um what the key thing is is to uh, observe um being consistent number four <laughs> um I think deeper issues are in uh, at play, um, and how that those issues um, make you deal with how you feed yourself are very important to identify. For example, I have an ED. I deal with my problems or, or and to this day i have lost 90 pounds but to this day i deal with my problems with with um food so now it's much less it doesn't stop there's moments but they become less and less and less again you need to be compassionate i did i had therapy and in order to explore these things and um and uh, which helps a lot because it keeps you again consistent. Number three, um, consistency does not mean perfection. Uh, perfection uh, sets you up for failure because if you fail or if you take a a, a, a some a, a back step. Um, it does not mean that you're not progressing, you're not learning in the failure, you're not starting, you're never starting from scratch, you're always starting from some, some other uh, place, which is one of learning opportunities, right? So again, um, consistency is key, but consistency requires identification of what is going wrong and how to change it, right? So yeah. <laughs> Number two, very important. Sometimes the scale will not change even though you are continuing with your caloric deficit or your program. What does that mean? Well, it means that basically you just got to keep going. Um, there will be times where just the scale won't move no matter what you do. Uh, what I would urge you to do is no, do not go any further with a calorie deficit. The whole point here is for you to, you know, um, do what you um what you need to do in order to support your nutrition your exercise and your health in general um, just because you're not necessarily a certain size doesn't mean that you're not growing as a person you're not losing weight you're not your stamina is not going so just keep going it the sometimes the scale will not move no matter what you do you just have to write that out write it out <laughs> Number one, 
adjustments and readjustments of how you feed yourself during the week, during the weekend, uh, your deficit overall in the week will always need to be readjusted and adjusted. It is not a uh, what got you here will get you over there. It is what got you here got you here, but now you're gonna have to change what got you there. So therefore, you always readjust and you're always looking at where, what, what is going on. Some weeks are not perfect. Other weeks are less than perfect. Christmas does happen. Just as long as you're honoring how you're feeding yourself, you're not, um, you're not going against your values in terms of food then you're going you're it's, it's good if you get so one of the things and i'm going to backtrack here by saying that one of the things that right now i'm going through and it's very important that I, that that i talk about is the fact that um my eating which it does increase uh, on the weekends I'm not honoring my body, so I feel crappy about, about it, about the whole experience. So because I do, I have to readjust the way I'm approaching that. For anything, anything, not not just saying, okay, well, I'm not gonna have that extra cake, is just the, my outlook on how I feel about myself. That needs to change because if I want to progress, at least I have to <laughs> be find love and, 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 and compassion on how I'm approaching nutrition during the weekends. So, having said that, I want you to have an amazing week and I'll see you next Sunday.